All right, today guys, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna change some headlights. Uh, these are kind of old and milky. Uh, they've been on the car for probably 10 years. There's nothing really wrong with them. I could clean them up with uh, some of this stuff right here and they would come out just fine. But I wanna go ahead and replace them anyways because I'd like to upgrade the light bulbs and I just don't feel like messing with them. So I'm gonna put some new ones in here and let me show you what those are. So here's the box they came in. I'll put a link in uh, where you can get these. You can get them off of eBay or off of uh, Zorro. And uh, I, I really like them. I'll put a picture inside of these. So this is what we're going with here. Right there, it's a one piece instead of a two piece. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get at it over here. Go ahead and uh, pop your hood and release the side latch and lift up on the hood all right there we go now i got a battery charger on it because <laughs> uh i think either my alternator died or one of my batteries died but that's a different point all right next thing you need to do is you need to come over here and you need to uh pull this clip out right here and this clip out right here and you use a pair of needle nose pliers for that uh, might have to wiggle it and finesse it a little bit, but it'll come out just like that. Get the other one over here. Wiggle it back and forth. Let's try to do that. There we go. Boy, this one was tough. So you can pry up on it. There you go. And here's what I talked about by breaking one. Uh, when I was prying up on this portion right here, the tab broke off. And then when I was pulling on the sides to try to get it off, uh, the rest of it just tore up. So it was a booger to get out, but I got it out. So you want to replace it with uh, these right here. If you can't get the originals right away. And there's the part number, 42190 by Dorman. All right, you're going to have to get two sections of light bulb out, or light assemblies out. You're going to have to get the main assembly out, and you're going to have to get the uh, parking light and side marker uh, blinker assembly out. But in order to take this out, you have to be able to access the screws, which are right down here. And there's one right there. And there's one right here. Uh, right up in there. Don't know if you can see it or not. But anyways, uh, one of the problems with uh, doing this is sometimes the bumper will get replaced like on mine. And the bumper will be too high. You can't access those screws. So I'm going to show you how to access those screws real quick so you can remove your old one. Come inside the wheel well over here. And this screw right here. You need to take this screw right here and loosen it up. Don't take it out. Just loosen it up. You need to loosen these two bolts. Just loosen them. Don't take them out. And then loosen these two right here as well. After you loosen them up, just grab your bumper. Push down on it like that. And it'll drop this far enough that you can get to those screws. So now we can access the screws. Let's go ahead and get the headlight assembly on. Uh, there's a couple of different ways. In some of the trucks, you can just back this screw off down in here. And let's see if I can't find it. This one right here. Let me try to get in here. You can back that one out. And what will happen is it will lower the light. And that screw assembly will release this headlight assembly right here. Uh, the problem with uh, doing it that way is not all of them do it. Uh, then you have to actually remove the battery. But trust me, if, if you've ever done one of these before, you don't even want to try to wiggle your arm down in there and get to that clip. Just, just pull the battery. You'll save yourself a ton of time and a ton of headache. Uh, you start by release, uh, disconnecting both negative uh, posts. So let's get those real quick. All right, so here we go. Uh, the reason you want to do the negative first is because both negatives are hooked to the body and both positives are hooked to the positive on both batteries. So if you pull this off and then set it on the frame, you're shorting the other battery out. So always pull the negatives first. Uh, just set it down out of the way and get the other one off. Here we go. And mine aren't standard anymore. I don't know what happened to the original bolts on there or nuts or whatever. They they weren't there uh, when I got the truck. Oh, it looks like I got some corrosion control to do too. 
so just I'm just gonna set this back over in here so it's out of the way now we can go ahead and we can we can pull the uh, we can pull the bot the positive side right here and then since both negatives are off you can just set it uh, anywhere in the truck all right let's get the other side done everything just wants to fight me today yeah don't put your uh, tools on your battery that's not a good idea if you short these posts out it gets ugly there we go so i'm just going to set that down in there all right pull here there we go and you just pull this off and set it aside now we can go ahead and we can pull this finish this off and when you put them back in you may want to put some anti-seize on them uh, when you so they won't uh, freeze up in case you need to do them again and i did it on mine good i guess it was in my battery video all right now that that's loose now you can just lift the battery out all right after you uh get the battery out uh you're gonna have to get this air box off too in order to remove this easily because you're gonna have to pull the whole top off just go ahead and hit your eight millimeter there and back this off a little bit like that Go ahead and release the clamps there's one here released on the back right here too there's one right here you need to release that uh, go ahead and pull up on this this is where your air filter is pull that off there we go and then just set it aside go ahead and pull your air filter right here grab you some uh some long needle nose right here grab your sensor right here and twist it don't do it on this part right here do it on the main body twist it counterclockwise and then go ahead and wiggle it out don't forget to put that back in there because you're going to need that for your engine to run properly and when you get done with that and we go after these 13 millimeters here there's four of them there's two there and two right here so let's get those real quick all right for you guys that are curious this is a quarter inch drive bit to a three eighths uh inch socket adapter you can pick them up at harbor freight they're pretty cheap they usually come in quarter inch three eighths and uh half inch sets the, the three will be in the set so anyways i like doing that also i like picking up these uh wobble extensions those are really nice too because the tip of the wall the tip of the uh socket uh, uh wiggles which it's kind of like a universal but it doesn't act exactly like it it's just better in some cases and worse than this so go ahead and pull these out all right after you get those undone go ahead and pull these out uh, you might want to take this over to your wire wheel and wire wheel it up and then paint it so it doesn't get too rusty and then when you go back on put some anti-seize on these all right after you get all the screws out just grab this sucker right here and just yank it like that now you have access to this little section right here all right all that fuss was to get at this right here so you could push those little clips in right there there's one on this side and then one on this side all right so now you can go ahead and uh, undo your clip here for your headlight Lift this uh, little bale up, yours doesn't break off like mine did, and pull it off. Now you can leave the light bulb in there. If you were going to change it, you could pull it, but I'm not going to change it. So I'm actually going to pull this off of here because my new one actually comes with one. And I'm going to just put this back on there to hold that light on because I actually need the light for later, but I'd rather it be inside the assembly. All right, so let's go ahead and get this off of here. You're going to need one of these right here. It's a channel lock 426. Get up on your step stool and stick it in this slot right here. Grab it with the pliers. Squeeze as hard as you can and wiggle it. And eventually it will come out. Now, if you want to save your light bulb, or your headlight assembly like I do um, you might want to like stop right here and then go on the outside and grab it otherwise it'll fall on the ground so let's go do that real quick and grab it and see if we can't pull this assembly out of here 
Either that or you could have somebody hold it for you while you do it. Aha, uh -huh. there we are. There's the light assembly. Now I can uh, show you what it is. It's this thing right here. This little thing, and those are the little clips right there that hold it in. They are such a pain in the butt. So, let's get the, uh, the lower section out here. There's two screws. There's one right here. Let's go in and look. And then there's another one right there. Might need some needle nose pliers on those too in order to keep them from falling. If they do, you can just go down and get them either off the bumper or um, off the ground. There we go. And let's go get the other one now. All right, after you get those screws off, just pick this up and give it a tug. It's got little clips over here that hold it in. All right, here we go. After you give it a good tug, it'll it'll just come out. And these little pins right here go in these little rubber grommets that hold it in. So that's why you got to kind of give it a yank. I, I suggest using two hands so that if you do pull it too far, it won't snap this side of the... the uh, marker off if you want to keep it for whatever reason. All right, and the next thing you got to do is you, you have to pull these uh, light bulbs out. So you take this and you, you turn it towards the grill on the bottom and then just kind of wiggle it back and forth and eventually come out. And then this is your side marker light, by the way. And then this is your park and blinker light and hazard light right there. So once you get that on, done, undone, then you can just, you can just go ahead and pull it. Okay, for your new uh, light, go ahead and take this portion right here, if it's this particular brand, or even if it's not, take that off. If it's not this brand, it might be, you know, really tall like the original. Uh, you're going to have to pull these stickers off, set them aside someplace. There we go. Whoop. Make sure you remove all the residue. After you get the headlight assembly out, uh, go ahead and uh, remove the light bulbs. This one just pulls out. Uh, I already removed it. And then these normally have a tab right here on each side. You'll have to lift them up and pull it off. Mine have long since broken off. So just pull it and then take it and install it in your new light system. All right, here it is. Now these have a large tab and two smaller tabs. Take the large tab and locate the large tab on your new light assembly. Stick it in there and then like this and then turn it clockwise all right and then this one for your marker light or daytime running light per se will go in the, the, the part that I already pulled off now go ahead and remove your headlight uh, bulb ring and I'll show you why in a minute go to your old headlight assembly turn the lock off so counterclockwise and pull the bulb put it in your new system all right, here it is, and there'll be a locking tab right here. Don't touch your light bulb, though. Uh, the oil on your hands can create hot spots and burn your bulb out quicker, so don't do that. If you do, just rub some, use some rubbing alcohol and then wipe it off with a, with a dry paper towel. Go ahead and uh, locate your uh, new tab and stick the light bulb in. This should be towards the top of the vehicle. Take your ring and set it on your new light bulb and lock it in. Now remember I told you, you had the, I was going to tell you why to put this in first. Reason is because this particular light bulb assembly, um, this portion right here will interfere with the frame and you won't be able to install this while it's in the vehicle. You have to do it with the assembly out or when you want to replace it, you have to pull these two clips off of here, lean the light bulb the assembly forward install your new light bulb that way and then put it reinstall it it's not a huge deal but it's harder to do than uh, the other light assemblies well here's why this is my first attempt after i installed the headlamp assembly and i tried to install the light bulb on this particular brand and part number you have to actually remove the two top clips loosen the two bottom screws lean it forward and then install the light bulb You'll notice that the ring on this particular headlamp assembly was very small, low profile. Well, there's a reason for that. It's because the metal frame and the fiberglass support assembly get in the way. So it's not a big deal to change it. It's just a little more difficult than some other assemblies. 
but at least with this light assembly you don't have to do any modifications to your vehicle and if you want to revert back you can so it's a no cut no mod and it's completely reversible it's not permanent so that's why i actually recommend this light assembly all right so now what we need to do is we need to go ahead and install the light assembly in the truck all right to make things easier to install go ahead and take this light assembly this uh parking light and turn signal light and push it through this bottom hole and pull it out through here the easiest way to do that is to reach inside here and grab the cable down here and fish it through like this and just run it back up to this hole here it'll make more sense later that's if you have to change those light bulbs later it's easier if you do that and this one you just push it down through here and then go under and bring it up through through this little crack right here uh, I'll just do that one off camera real quick just reach through the fender well over here and then push it up through this section right here and then you can pull it over right there and then come out right here all right now once you get them into this position go ahead and set your light assembly up your new light assembly I should say and install it all right with your new light assembly sitting like this go ahead and raise it up install your wiring harness and then this one right here you'll install in there all right after you get those bottom two in take your uh, headlight plug and stick it in the new uh, headlamp light bulb right there now take your light assembly and screw these all the way out so that you have a couple threads here on each one of these right here the reason is is because it'll make it easier to put the clips in so once you get to that point then go ahead and take this stick it in this hole and this one and stick it in this hole right here so just lift it up from the bottom and kind of wiggle it in there and now it goes in all right and this is what i'm talking about if you don't screw those down all the way or almost all the way then that little slot that's there see how it's disappeared that slot won't be there so you need to have that slot there for the clip to go in so once it's at that point on both sides then you can go ahead and put your clip in now grab your clip with your pliers like that and install it in that groove that's down inside i don't know if i can show that or not but it's right there it's kind of a pain in the butt but you can get it in there and make sure it goes down all the way and locks and then go ahead and do your other one over here all right here we go Let's see if we can't get this one to go in here now okay, get in there and make sure it goes down all the way uh, both sides all right now go put your uh, two screws in the front all right use your needle nose like that to hold it and then put your screwdriver on it and screw it in after you get all of them in there and boy i'll tell you what i had to play with that a lot to get them in there but the needle nose definitely helps in uh, in holding them while you uh, aim them in there. All right, after you get it installed, turn on your headlights and see if they work. And uh, <laughs> tell you what, that sure looks a heck of a lot better than the other one. Let's go look at the other one. Yep, there's the other one. That's eh, looking pretty ratty. Look how foggy it is and everything. So let's come back over here. There you go. So let's look at them from a distance. Huh? Well, they are from a distance. Definitely a big improvement over on this side over here. Definitely. Okay. Yeah, you don't want to leave it on too long. I didn't start the truck because, well, <laughs> I didn't want the noise. So let's go ahead and let's get the other one in over here. All right. To do the other headlight, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, pull the battery cables negative first and then pull this down here so let's get to it pretty much loosen these up i already pre-did it pull the negative cable pull the positive set it down over there pull this off it's an eight millimeter there you go lift it out 
pull your battery out let's pull the two top clips right i found it's easier if you uh turn the pliers this way sideways grab it and wiggle it back and forth and then pull while you're doing it it'd probably take you about three or four minutes uh, to get to it but uh probably won't break <laughs> break your clip like i did on the other one so let me pause this and get it out for you i think you could figure it out ended up coming in from this side from the uh, passenger side over here and kind of pushing on it and manipulating it and pulling it at the same time now we can just go ahead and take this off counterclockwise pull it Boop. Oh, the whole bolt came out okay i'm just gonna leave that right there the process is the same just pull those two screws and do what I did on the other side. So in order to save time on the video, uh, I'm not gonna show the installation. I, I think you guys could figure that out. So let's get this side done, and then we're gonna get on to the other side and put the batteries back in and one with the air box. All right guys, after you get the other headlight in, go ahead and put the battery in the other side. And uh, go ahead and install your air box. It goes in a little hole down here, right there. There we go. All right, but before you uh, get the air box down all the way, don't forget to reach back here and grab your uh, sensor and reinstall it. Right here, just grab behind there and reach down in there and grab it and reinstall it. And after you get it poked through, twist it a little bit, push on it, and then use your needle nose and turn it clockwise until it locks in. Then you can go ahead and put the, your uh, air box in the rest of the way. Go ahead and get it in and line up all the holes so that they're uh, sitting in there properly. Take some anti-seize. Uh, it's part number 81343 or 133 alpha, either one and uh let's see if i can there there you go put it on all your bolts and install all your bolts start all your bolts by hand so that you don't cross throw them all right after you get them all hand started go ahead and uh, screw them all down don't forget the ones on the side there you go remember to hand start them first install your air filter And then get the top and install that box. Right, don't forget to pull this out if you left it in there. Put this in. Go ahead and put this side on first. Twist it on. Make sure it goes on all the way. And then there's some little tabs right here. Make sure those tabs go in here. You might have to lift up on this. And install them. There you go. All right, might have to wiggle it a little bit to get it to go down. Mine's broke. I'll have to deal with that later. But there's a lip enough on there that it'll hold. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, tighten up that nut over there for the clamp. Put this one on right here. Just tighten it up a bit. Doesn't have to be super tight. All right, go ahead and lift your battery in. Make sure that the positive post is on the front and towards the engine also there's a little uh little hole down there make sure and you uh don't cover that up all right now to install this make sure you put a little bit of anti-seize on that so uh it'll be able to come off when you want to get it again go ahead and install it inside that little hole down there started a couple threads by hand and then go ahead and finish it off. Always start your threads by hand, so make sure you don't cross through them. All right, now all we gotta do is clean up the posts. Yeah, just give them a little bit of cleaning. Do the, uh, do the inside of your battery cables too with the little battery cleaner. I, I don't think you guys uh, need to see that for changing the headlights, so I'm gonna skip that. I'm going to just finish putting this in. All right, after you clean up the battery posts and the uh, terminals with one of those, go ahead and wipe the battery off and then put the cover back on. And 
just give it a smack there you go and then you can go ahead and you can put your positive side on tighten it down with a wrench all right go ahead and wiggle it a little bit so it goes down all the way and then go ahead and tighten it up there you go like that make sure it doesn't wiggle when you're done leave the negative one off until you get the other battery installed we're going to do that off camera all right when you get done make sure and do a good inspection on everything uh, make sure everything's tight i still have to fix this i'll probably do a video on how to fix that check your batteries make sure they're nice and tight uh, make sure you got those in on both sides Oh, well, that one's inside. <laughs> Sorry. And if all looks good, go ahead and close the hood. And let's uh, let's turn on the headlights and see what it looks like. All right. There we go. Looking awesome. Check your blinkers left and right. And make sure your parking lights and everything work. Your high beams work. All that stuff. You guys know how to do that. I'm not going to do that for the video. So I want to thank you guys for watching. God bless y'all and Keith Nunn you out. Bye.